I, another film I watched this weekend was Unfrosted, the live action directing debut of Jerry Seinfeld, uh, having been the mastermind behind the Titanic uh, sitcom of the 90s, which rarely ever caught on in the UK. He has basically lived fairly quietly since then, occasionally involved in documentary projects, making one animated film, occasional appearances in his creative partner Larry David's sitcom Curb Your Enthusiasm. But this is his first ever live action leading role, his first film as director. He also co-wrote with some of his co-writers on previous projects. And it's a rather unlikely choice of material. It is the heavily fictionalised story of the creation of the Pop-Tart, that toasted breakfast pastry for which uh, Kellogg's is still unable to export to most of the world because a lot of it the, a lot of the ingredients are deemed not to be food by countries outside the US. Um, it's the story of uh, corporate conflict between Kellogg's and its great rival Post, of industrial espionage that turns into real espionage that accelerates into the Cuban Missile Crisis. There are uh, there is a huge celebrity cast. There is an enormous amount of celebrity cameos. Uh, we have Oscar nominees appearing in single scene roles. Um, it's a rich and very uh, brightly coloured uh, confection. And uh, despite a lot of the reviews being very negative, I actually find it extremely enjoyable. It's It has the, the fast paced gag a minute speed of the original sitcom, but looks in its bright colours and its rich design, very much like um, Wes Anderson directing Mad Men, and appropriately enough, John Hamm and uh, John Slattery do appear as their characters from Mad Men, uh, attempting to come up with an advertising campaign for the product, which they completely misunderstand and wind up pitching it as apparently some kind of sex aid. Um, Seinfeld himself works well as a leading man in the film. Uh, there's a degree of unreality to the movie. There are lots of jokes about things that will never catch on. Um, there is uh, a lot of um, surreal, sort of edging humour. Uh, well, there are threats from the conspiracy of Milkman or the global sugar uh, cartel that uh, controls the world's sweetness. The uh, owner of the Quaker Oats Company dressing like the man on the box all the time. And a as I say, a huge cavalcade of supporting roles. As well as Seinfeld, we have um, Melissa McCarthy, Amy Schumer as the head of uh, their competitor. Um, uh, Hugh Grant as the real actor who did the voice of Tony the Tiger, who in this version of the story wore the costume as well. Even down to the likes of Maria Bakalova playing Nikita Khrushchev's interpreter or Tony Hale from Arrested Development playing a ventriloquist. It's a huge, huge cast, a huge, huge project. Um, a lot of people have simply not found it funny, but I found it extremely enjoyable. It's a constant stream of gags, a parody of uh, stories like The Right Stuff or Oppenheimer, but rather than being about the space race or the development of the nuclear bomb and such huge weighty subjects, it's about the invention of the Pop-Tart. Um, and um, there's been such a run of uh, corporate biopics recently, stories about companies fighting to achieve greatness. I, I absolutely slated the film Air, which was about Nike's attempts to uh, overcome their millionaire position to become billionaires by inventing the Nike Air Jordan and exploiting a, uh, the legacy of a, an athlete um, who barely appears in the movie instead making heroes out of the agents. Here, the film is a complete absurdity uh, we, <laughs> to the extent it involves, at one point, the creation of a new form of life. Um, it's it's a, a, a hybrid, perhaps, of that kind of corporate biopic and, and airplane-like or naked gun-like, uh, you know, throw everything at the wall, see what sticks, anything goes type comedy. It's a tight 90 minutes. Um, I found it very enjoyable, very funny, um, highly entertaining, and uh, I'd recommend it very highly. It's great.